Okay, this is a in-circuit transistor tester. Runs on 9 volts. Uses a 4011 integrated circuit. Two LEDs. A couple of capacitors. Few resistors and diodes. And that's it. Really simple to put together. I'll put the link in the information area where you can find the circuit. Pretty much when you put the switch on, which is actually up is on, these two LEDs, if the transistor is good and it's an NPN, it'll be both LEDs on or at least partly on. They could be dimly lit, but as long as they're on, it's good. And the PNP transistor, if both LEDs are off, then that's a confirmation that the transistor is good for a PNP. I put these little connectors on the end, these little hook type I got off eBay. I'll demonstrate right now. This transistor tester right here, it actually checks, uh, checks transistors, triacs, diodes, uh, voltage regulators, it checks everything. It's absolutely the best tester, but you cannot use it in circuit. It's about $90. It's made by Peak, and it's a DCA55. I recommend buying one. You will love it. So what I'm going to do now is see which transistor this is. I'm going to hook this there. Hook this one there. I'll go a little lower of my camera here. There. All right, so now it's connected, as you can see. This is just going to let me know what kind of a transistor this is. I'll push the power on. All right, it's an NPN Darlington, so you push this. It's, this gives you a lot of information besides just the pinout on it. it. tells you, like, the current and everything on it and HFE. Now, the red is the collector. Uh, green is the emitter, so it's BCE. So let me put this down. Now I'm going to go to my... Now, this will test the same way in circuit or out, pretty much. So I'm just going to show you out of it This is that this is a good one that works. So now I'm going to take the B on my unit right here. There's the B. B, connect it right there. I'm going to take the C, put it there, and the E on the end. Now I'm going to turn this on. Now this is a, an NPN. So both of these lights should be at least on or partly on. Now if you can see it, right there. See they're on? Off. On. Off. So that's a confirmation that this one is good. And like I said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if these are dimly lit as long as they're both lit. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I got like laryngitis going on here. All right, let me take out the NPN and show you how the PNP one works. Take this off. Take that off. All right. Now this one here, I'm going to turn on, use my Peak Atlas just to identify the pinout on this transistor because I have no clue. I got it from scrap. Make sure it's good. So now I'm going to push it. This is the new one I'm putting in. Push the button. PNP, hit that. Okay, and I need the red as the emitter. Uh, blue, so it's BCE. Let me take this off. BCE. Let's do the same thing here. I'm going to put the B on that one. C on this one. And the E on the end. Now, if this is a good transistor, if you were checking it in circuit, you're going to see that when I turn the switch on, the LED should stay off. See? Off. That's showing it's a good one. Now this circuit comes in very handy because there's times you don't want to disassemble a circuit and usually you have to disconnect the base if you wanted to check it with a multi-tester or even this tester. You would have to desolder the base leg on the transistor and then you could get an accurate gauge of whether it works or not. But with this device you can connect all three of these while the entire uh, transistor, transistor is in circuit and you could tell if it works or not. So it's pretty handy to have, especially if you're building a lot of different circuits. So that's it. Check it out.